All right, hello everybody. This is Maddie, and I have a huge package from Gan. That I'm gonna open right now. I'm actually standing up because it couldn't. Uh, I can't get on top of it without standing up. So let's just cut into it. All right, so I'm just gonna go from bottom to top, which was in the box. So we'll start off with this. <laughs> okay. Wait, this is actually this is actually nice. Okay, if you didn't know, I competed in this Gan Smart Cube tournament, and this is actually my trophy. I actually beat Ru Hang in this competition, but I got crushed by Yi Hang. So, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. All right, next, this is Maddie. I'll do this. Some sort of plaque. Yeah, it says Monster Go on it. So, I'm assuming this, let's just go with this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to send me this. This was actually a big competition, I guess. So this is pretty cool. Felt there. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Ah, this is actually sick, so. This is the, yeah, this is the grand final of the competition. I got third, so I guess they gave me this nice trophy. That's pretty cool. All right, so now the main event began 13. Very nice packaging here. Get it open. So, let me open it like this. Yep, yeah, there we go. The mechanism here, got the cube and the cube, card, and accessories. So let me just put this back here. Okay, so let's just get into the cube. Alright, I got the UV coated one. Let's get into first turns. I can hear audible click clicks in between the turns. Yeah, I'm gonna have to type in this a lot, but so far it feels a lot smoother than the 12. A lot more soft, I would say. And it, the game tool is kind of rigid. This seems a lot more flowy, which is very good for my turning style. Yeah. It seems pretty good. <laughs> okay, yeah, wow. Okay, I'm starting to turn this more. This actually is really nice. I think this is going to be crazy good once I tighten it a little bit. Alright. Alright, hello everybody. This is Maddie, and today I'm going to be going over what I think about the GAN 13 and what my settings are basically. So, just first of all, overall thoughts. I think this cube is a big improvement from the 12 basically. So, first of all, the turning is just smooth, obviously, because that's just what Gan is known for. But at the same time, with the, the new edge magnets, it almost feels like it's more snappy, like after you turn it, but during the turn, it's still smooth. It's very hard to explain, but it's basically super easy to turn. And it's also very stable without sacrificing corner cutting, which is pretty hard to do in a cube. So that is very nice. So first I'm just going to go over my settings. So you can use this tool here to adjust it, which comes inside of this white box. So let me try to get this in frame here. There's two ways to adjust this. Uh, so the first type of adjustment is this bottom gear and the second part is this top part. So the bottom gear is for the uh, maglev system. So what you can do is you can just uh, you can insert it in, in between the teeth and turn it clockwise. So 
like that. And after um, a while, like after a few clicks, it will just slam down because of the repelling magnets. And that's how you know you uh, reset the tension. And after that, I have four clicks. So one, two, three, four. So that's my setting for the maglev and for the center travel, which is the top part. Uh, there is one through six and I have it on three. And all three of these notches uh, point to the same number. So if you want to adjust it, you can insert in here and turn it clockwise. So yeah, I actually spent an hour and a half or so just playing with this cube and it's, I did this setting uh, like multiple times and I changed it and I, I always came back to this one. So honestly, it's pretty hard to lock up with this thing. Like, like it's just, it's very easy to use basically. And if you look at the magnets here, there's actually six settings, which is pretty impressive. And you just use this thing again and you put it right here and you just turn it like clockwise. So I actually tried all the settings and I always came back to the stock setting, which is on three. So that's what I use. So I have uh, one of my Gen 12s here. So I'm just gonna compare the mechanism and just the turning overall. So if we take out the edges, this is where the main difference is. I'll just take off the caps too. So we look here, this is the 13, this is the 12, no. <laughs> this is the 12, this is the 13, I'm sorry. So if you look here, there's a pretty obvious difference because <laughs> there's no magnet in this edge and there is in this one. So this magnet in this new edge basically just adds a whole new level of stability and it has the same realignment degrees. It's 30 degrees as the 12, but it feels a lot more snappy and controllable because of this added uh, magnet. You put this back here. If you look at the corners, I don't think there's too much of it. Okay. Yeah. So the only difference, there's still the same type of magnets. It's just this stock is slightly shorter than the other one, probably to avoid catching because believe it or not, I actually had a few catches on the 12 between the corner magnet and the edge. And it actually causes the corner to kind of just jam right here, basically. And you have to kind of spread it to click it back. So hopefully that will not be a problem in this new GAN 12. And obviously the core is a difference as well. Uh, this has the brand new gear system and this just has the uh, previous edition, yeah. All right, so make sure I'll put the correct piece back in the correct cube. And yeah, so let's just talk about the turning differences here. You can, uh, I'm sure you can probably hear an audio difference. This is the 13 here. So, uh, <clears throat> when you're turning this, it's a very uh, tactile feeling where you can really feel each turn clicking into place. Some people might like that, others may not, but personally, I really like it. And again, 12, I don't know. It's just kind of less stable. And it's kind of more like, I've noticed each GAN iteration since the 11 has just been getting increasingly more stable. So like, I thought this was stable, but then I go to the 13 and it just feels like, like each turn is very solid and you turn it with purpose basically, instead of like just wishing it's gonna turn. So yeah, that's one big difference. The actual feeling. So obviously this has probably like a lot of sauce on it. So it's gonna feel soft, but this one, out of the box, it almost feels as soft as this one. So I just wonder how this is gonna feel after I do a lot of solves on it. It's probably gonna be insane. But yeah, so it sounds a lot more, it's weird because it sounds more snappy, but it feels softer. Very hard to explain, but yeah. And if you were to ask me which cube I would pick, uh, as of now, I will pick the 12 just because I'm not used to the 13, but if you ask me in one month, I'm almost 100% sure I would definitely say the 13. 
because I can just feel the potential. It's very fast, which I like, but it's also very stable, which I also like. So we'll see how it goes. And on the topic of the weight of the cube, it's not a noticeable difference when you're just solving normally, but if I were to feel it, just the weight of the turns themselves feel a lot. Well, it's not a lot, but it's noticeable that it's heavier basically. So it's only a few grams, but when you hold it, I can definitely feel the 12 is lighter. And I think that actually contributes to the softer feeling because it's just more solid. And if we look at the core here of each cube, let's look at the 13 first. So the core is definitely thinner. Yes, there we go. So you can see the stock, it's thinner compared to the 12. As you can see there, I don't know how that contributes to the softness of the cube. I would expect it to make it more soft, but yeah, it's mainly on the end part there where it's thinner, not really on the stock, but more on the end. And for my lubes, I use Gravitas and DNM. So basically what I do is I take out an edge. And if you can see here, there are two tracks, one there and one there. I put lube both of those in both of those tracks. I put it back in and I do it for three more edges. And then I break that in. And depending on how that feels, I either put one drop or two drops of DNM. So. In the 13, this 13, I put two drops, but in the 12, I put one drop. It's very cube specific. And yeah, just some final thoughts on the 13. I think it is a very good cube. It's very stable. It's very fast. And most importantly, it's very fun and easy to turn. It's almost satisfying to use it, which I think it's a big plus, uh, but it's also very different from the 12 in terms of performance. So. Uh, that's the reason why I will not be using it in the competition in Hawaii this weekend. I will be using the 12, but I will keep the GAN 13 in the back of my mind. I will keep practicing with it, do a lot of solves with it. And yeah, as I break it in, I'm just going to see how it turns out. And hopefully I'll end up using it in the future. But yeah, very good cube. This is Maddie. Uh, hope you enjoy. Bye.